we are visiting today the exhibition of Arte Laguna Prize, the prize dedicated to emerging artists. The amazing exhibition venue is the Arsenale di Venezia, Venice Arsenale, one of the most beautiful places in this city. Here you can see artworks created by 240 artists from the 16th and the 17th edition of Arte Laguna Prize. They have submitted their artworks in uh, different uh, art categories. Urban art, photography, painting, performance, video art, land art, sculpture and installation, art design and digital art. Questo non è un concorso a chiamata, ci può partecipare più o meno chiunque, non ci sono limiti di età. È molto interessante anche la provenienza geografica di donne e uomini che arrivano da diverse parti del mondo. E mi piace questo clima che mescola i linguaggi, per esempio. Do you think Arte Laguna is a more democratic institution for artists? Yeah, I definitely think so. Um, I personally uh, was the jury for the painting and digital art section. I had reviewed over 1,500 applications. I think artists is a very in important catalyst in connecting us uh, emotionally and experience-wise. I feel like artists submit to this. Sometimes they want their work to be seen and to be understood, to be appreciated. That's really great, but oftentimes it's also about providing a unique commentary of our reality and also invite us to experience their, um, you know, perspectives on the world. È un quadro molto sensoriale. Sì, il quadro eh, si titola appunto Il gusto del bacio. Allora, eh, questa è una, una figura che, che ripeto spesso nei miei quadri, che eh, fa proprio da calamita all'essere umano. E non è altro che, diciamo, il rettangolo di un cellulare o di uno schermo, una forma che vediamo ogni giorno e che ci ipnotizza. E quindi il design come si sposa con l'arte? È ovvio che il design ha magari delle sue specificità, strumenti diversi, anche materiali diversi con cui lavorare. È complicato, nel senso che noi nella giuria abbiamo analizzato un po' di migliaia di lavori. So, a matter of metaverse, what does it mean? It means uh, about the metaverse, but also the matter of metaverse. So we always think metaverse as something like we can't touch. This and it does matter. It does matter because it affects our reality. The, the virtual world that is out there, we perceive it like uh, it doesn't exist, but it, it has its own materiality because it affects our physical world. Yes, uh, it's not a psycho like um, um, uh, he travels inside his soul, inside his body, you know? Psychonaut. Psychonaut? Psychonaut. It's a word game. Yes, I uh, see the world in his, uh, in his, in his eyes and um, uh, he hear more. He, he meets a lot of um, uh, people um, where, he, where he thinks they are good, Van Herzog and uh, Abramovich and so on. I felt that in sculpture there was more of a political focus um, and a, a, more geopolitics, more kind of location focused um, and then in design we saw more kind of solutions to social or environmental issues as, as you'd imagine as well as a sort of beautifully made object and then I also worked at judging urban and land art and that was interesting because land art has kind of remained as land art always has been so it's all about people gaining different perspectives on the spaces that they live in. Dans des peintures que j'appelle des peintures silencieuses, silent painting. Donc c'est des peintures qui sont inspirées au niveau de la technique des maîtres italiens et hollandais anciens, like Vermeer, Raffaello, Giorgione. And how we are creating a new narrative 
around our life. I would like to play with this topic relation with old pictures and new pictures like digital photography. I, I borrow also like some code from the sacred representation. Don't miss the chance to visit this amazing exhibition. It is open until the 16th April 2023.